Hawks hosting the Sixers, and the Hawks are two and a half point favorites. The over under is at 244 and a half. The Sixers are plus 120 on the money line, and the Hawks are minus 142. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow. These teams have played each other already twice this season, and the Sixers won both of those games. 126-116 and 125-114. The first game was in Atlanta. The second one was in Philadelphia. As far as lineups are concerned, it is supposed to be Maxi, Melton, Obrey, Harris, and Reed. And Melton is listed as questionable with lumbar spine soreness. And then Young, Murray, Bay, Johnson, and Capella. Capella is listed as questionable with Achilles soreness. And Young is listed as probable with a shoulder soreness injury. Now, Thank you to everyone who has joined my Discord and who continues to join it. If you've not done so yet, you can do so by visiting my website or clicking on the membership tab in any one of my social media profiles. It is a paid membership, but it will give you access to my best bets, my stats, the games that I bet on, and if you have any questions, player props, or things like that, that's where I'm going to answer. Embiid is going to miss this game again with knee sw- uh, his knee is swollen. So we'll see how that goes. The Sixers are on a five-game winning streak against the Hawks. They are 7-3 and three against them in their last 10. The favorite has won and covered the last two games. The favorite is both 6-4 and four on the money line and 6-4 and four against the spread. The over is hitting their last three. The under is 6-4. and four. The under 244.5 is 9-1, and one, and the home team is 5-5. Five and five. The Sixers are 5-5 five and five in their last 10, 5-5 five five against the spread, and the under is 6-4. and four. They are 1-3 in their last four. 197-207. 220, and then 229. They lost by 13 to the Bulls, then they beat the Bulls by 13, then they lost by 36 to the Knicks, and then they lost by 11 to the Jazz. For the Hawks, they're 4-6 in their last 10, 2-8 against the spread, and the over is 6-4. There was a total of 256, uh, 279, 250, uh, 266, and then 227 points. They beat the Wizards by four. They beat the Thunder by three. They lost by 34 to the Pacers, and then they lost by seven to the Magic. Both of those games were on the road. Even though Embiid isn't playing, I don't trust the Hawks in this game. I don't know why. I'm going to take the Sixers with the money line. I'm going to take the Sixers getting the points, and I'm going to go under. With Embiid, this game probably hits this under, over under. Without him, I'm not so sure. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.